Hello, so we are back Thursday morning and today we have another phone <coughs> and this is kind of specific fault of the iPhones when uh, we see how it uh, must be repaired when we have no backlight or about when you have no picture so actually the phone is working but it's no backlight and no picture and obviously we try with a new screen We grab the charger So you can hear the, the charging noise So the phone is on actually Yeah But it's no picture and no, back, no backlight But pay attention It's possible like uh, to be a picture But you can't see it You have to, you have to pay attention because if you have picture and no backlight, obviously it's a backlight uh, circuit problem. But in our case, it's no backlight and no picture. Yeah. Going on the on the board view. Let's see. Phones, iPhone. This one it's iPhone uh, 6s. 6s and we are looking for the display driver okay the chestnut chip yeah morning four Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, nice, thank you. Okay, so we are speaking about this one from here. This one. Also, this one, it will start the backlight. Yeah, so it's related with the backlight, I see. So this driver, it will start also the backlight. In a case where uh, actually your backlight circuit is fine, but you still don't have backlight. Okay, so we have to replace this one. It's always this chip, so it's not like something like a resistor or a capacitor. No, the chip is dying. That's the problem. Okay, so all what we have to do is to replace this chestnut chip. So, uh, yeah, let's take this board out and replace the chip. Let's see if this will fix the problem. And it happens on a lot, a lot of iPhones. So when you see an iPhone and when you see an iPhone and it's not backlight, yeah, okay, we have a backlight situation. But when you see an iPhone and it's no picture, yeah, just go straight to the chestnut uh, IC and replace it. Okay, so we can take the board out.
you know you you'll see you'll think okay it's a it's a old uh, it's a old phone and actually it's not worth learning to fix this but if you go on eBay yeah you'll be surprised people are charging like 40 pounds for this service okay so what's wrong here Yeah, give me a second, give me a second. Okay. So let's see first, let's remove the shield, yeah? Maybe we'll find some water damage, who knows? Okay, let's clean the... Let's clean the thermal paste. Let's have a look under the microscope, yeah? Okay, so as you can see here, what do we have here? We have the backlight I see, okay, and here we have the chestnut chip, this one. That's what we have to replace. Okay, so that's the one. Yeah, it probably will be. Hmm. Probably will not be very easy. But let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let me replace the. Uh, the nozzle on the hot air let's try 370 yeah
and that's our chip chip position okay yeah all what we have to do now is to clean yeah okay let's do it It's not like a very very hard job, but it involves some uh, dexterity, yeah? So I should try to come with a hot air around 200... 220 yeah well, let's help the the solar iron Yeah, seems to be fine. Yeah, seems to be fine. Let's try now and clean the the glue. Be careful and don't uh, don't break the tracks, you know. Can be difficult to restore the tracks, yeah. So we are now like on 200, uh, we are on uh, 220, 230 degrees and we are using this low temperature just to clean the, the place where uh, the, the new chip will be, yeah? So, seems to be okay. Let's clean. It's not on focus. Okay. Let's clean with alcohol. Seems to be fine. 
What do you think? It's okay, we have solder there, we have space. All what we need is the chip. <clears throat> Yeah? The problem is we don't have a new chip, but that's not a problem. We can use a second hand one. Yeah, I found one. So we can use a second hand chip. Don't be afraid to use second hand chips, yeah? Okay? Don't be afraid. I will use a bit higher temperature, I will use like 400 because I want to be sure. I will take up the chip nicely. A bit more air. Oh, where is the chip? Where is the chip? You see, that's what happened. If you use uh, high pressure on the air, we found one. That's the one. Huh? Probably that's the one. Or does the old one? Let me see. Hmm. I don't want to solder back the old one. Yeah, that's the one. So this is coming from here. Yeah? That's the one. Let's... Let's fix the problem here. Good morning. Yeah. Which one? Oh yeah. Yeah. I will check. That should be fine. Let's clean with some alcohol.
We have some glue. Uh, you know the yeah the black thing here. That's fine. Perfect. Let's put the chip back on our board. Yeah, let's use some clocks first. Now the main problem is to solder that chip. Hot air, low air. Temperature around 370, yeah. 370 degrees. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not happy with uh, with what's going on there. Okay, let's see now if it's working. It's a bit hard when you, the chip is not uh, doesn't have the solder bolts, you know. Just a bit harder. 
But don't worry, you'll get some skill, you know. We are not here to use the easiest way. And we do have picture. Yes, we have pictures. We have picture. No backlight. We have picture. Yeah. So that driver it was faulty. And our next problem is backlight. Actually, the problem is not backlight. The problem is is, is the same. Out this chip because I don't believe we have like. A second fold, like a backlight issue. No, probably this chip is not sold properly. Or maybe not. Maybe not. What's here? What is here? So on the on the screen connector. <laughs> so probably this died because of the backlight so yeah we have a second fault the backlight I think but we can check we can check let's get a multimeter diode mode diode And if I remember first three pins Okay, let's spin the wires This is okay This is not okay, you see here it's I have no reading And this is okay, yeah so on this pin, on the middle pin, I have no reading. And the middle pin, the middle pin, uh, that's the middle pin, this one. is going exactly on that resistor, which is on, uh, which we will see we, it's from here, yeah, you know what I mean. Is this resistor, what we see now, that one. Yeah, this one. So let's check with the multimeter. We are on diode mode. Let's check from here, here. And we do have zero, zero. So it is a track here. Go here to here. And it is a track here. It's moving. Yeah, that's the problem. It's moving. All good? How is your day? Huh? Same old. Which one? We need a board. Okay.
we have to fix here this problem with the with the resistor. Yeah. Let's check if it's okay that pin. No, that's not okay. Here. Yeah, it is okay. So we have reading on the multimeter. So actually the track is good. So, if you don't have soldering tweezer, you are kind of, you know, it's... You have to be careful. So you see on this case we have two folds. The chestnut and uh, back like fuse. Hopefully, it's only the fuse. We can have a surprise to replace the fuse, and actually, we found out actually the back light. I see it's it's a problem. Yeah. That's the resistor. Hopefully, you understand how small are these components. Can't even see them with the with the eye. Come on. It's not on focus. So let's try one more time. I think we need more air, but if I will increase the air, this thing can jump out. Yeah. Exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's the life. What you can do. Let's get another one. As you lose higher temperature, yeah, okay, let's use what? Uh, come on, I think the temperature was like uh, two and something. Come on. You see, at my age, it's a little bit hard. So, you know, it's about the patient. Don't really have too much patience on this. Okay, let's use some flux now. I think we are fine. That's enough. I think we can afford to use a little bit more air. Or maybe not. You know what? Let me use my flux. Yeah, I, I, I can't do it like that. The flux is getting evaporated like instantly. I can't do it. Let's use my flux. You know what I mean? It's. It's. It to solder, you have to. You know, a few things are required. And one, it's a good flux. Yeah, we are okay. We are okay. So let's see the second pin. The second pin yeah, is fine. Let's clean and test.
you know I should buy soldering tweezers are more easy to be used the less cleanse Let's use the old screen here, yeah? the man old screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes happen to find like two faults. Like in our case, chestnut and um, the backlight fuse. Because trust me, I did check the picture. Yeah, I checked twice. I checked with two screens, two different screens, to see if I have picture. There was no picture there. Yeah. Okay, sorry, it's a picture here, a customer picture. Actually, nice girls. <laughs> but you understand, it's working fine. Okay. Everything is working fine. Okay. Good. Yeah, the bot power button is not connected. Yeah, it's just another boring job. But I made this video because I don't think I have a video with uh, with uh, with chestnut replacement. Uh, not so many, but you'll find this fault. Like absolutely no picture and no backlight. Okay, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Yeah, I'll give to Diana, she will put all back together. About, oh, I have to put this back. Okay. But anyway, see you on the next one. Hopefully, this uh, video will be, will be helpful for you. Yeah, if you have any questions, just ask me. It's okay, I don't mind. Yeah. See you on the next one. Bye.